In a perfect world, Kaylin Ball and David Hoxton would be making wedding plans right now. She lives in South Surrey, he lives in Baltimore. Still, things were going smoothly. Then COVID-19 hit. Test your relationship. Yeah. Really makes you think like, <laughs> what will I do for you? And then, yeah, I'll travel across the country and sit in a park for three or four days just to be with you. The plan was he'd fly to Seattle, drive up to the border, get a hotel, and they'd spend Canada Day through the 4th of July together at Peace Arch Park. Park opens at 8 a.m., so we're here at like 8.30 because I was a little late. But <laughs> um, then we stay till basically 9 when it closes, so we're here down till dusk. And a few weeks ago, the B.C. government announced that wasn't going to work either. <laughs> and then they said they closed the park. Oh, and yeah, that was a sad day. That, that was, was a very sad day. Yes. And since neither of them was in a position to quarantine for 14 days, even flying was off the table. But then they finally found a way. It's a bit of a secret right now. <laughs> <laughs> you might also call it a 20-acre COVID loophole. What Canadians have been doing to kind of bypass that closure is they've been accessing the American Park from Zero Avenue for two or three blocks. And the U.S. border officials have no problems with Canadians accessing the U.S. Park from the Canadian side. The B.C. government shut down the Canadian side of the park to keep COVID cases down. And the U.S.-Canada border is still closed to most traffic. But there's not much BC can do if Canadians choose to meet up with American friends or loved ones here. The American government seems to have no concern with Canadians coming into the U.S. They don't allow camping overnight in the park, but David and Kaylin have put up a small see-through tent for day visiting. It feels like field dreams, how you are just, you know, have to be in that one park and then you can't step out, otherwise you disappear. So just keep, <laughs> I'll just keep in, uh, well, but we, that's our moment, that's our little piece of heaven. He can't go past the ditch on the Canadian side, and she can't step into the parking lot on the American side. But at least they're together. I mean, there are worse places to be yeah, we've yeah. Been <laughs> stuck in a park. Deborah Goebel, CBC News, Peace Arch Park, USA.